We're in Chico, California, in the Barber neighborhood at the southern end of town. And those definitely aren't coyotes or wolves that you're hearing. Those are people, and well, maybe a few dogs joining in. It's hard to tell. Pretty much every night since we've been on coronavirus lockdown, people all across the country have been coming out on their patios and porches and front lawns at 8 o'clock in the evening to just howl. It's a fun and goofy little thing to do, but it's also more than that. It's a ritual, gesture, however small, to challenge the loneliness and isolation of quarantine. Just like with washing your hands and wearing a face mask, little community rituals like this offer us a certain kind of protection, reminding us that we're not alone. But people here in Chico are doing far more than just howling on their porches. Many are going out into the abandoned corners of the city, the homeless encampments or low-income housing communities, to check up on their neighbors and share what they can. Because just like in many other cities, there are entire communities here that have fallen through the cracks. Cracks which have only widened and deepened during this pandemic. In this episode of The Response, we take a deep dive into the work being done by the Chico chapter of the Democratic Socialists of America, or DSA. Their mutual aid work in response to the coronavirus pandemic is just a microcosm of the whole country, from major cities to rural communities where DSA and other similar organizations have been stepping in to fill many of the gaps left by the local, state, and federal response. I'm going to throw some onions and potatoes. Do oh. we have any more of the little cards with the avocado test? We do. Let's give me each one of those two. Yeah. My name is David. I work with DSA and North Valley Mutual Aid as a volunteer. We're at Chico DSA's Mutual Aid Distribution Headquarters, the location of which they requested we keep private due to the backlash they face from some members of the community. Roughly 30 volunteers like David have prepared and delivered hundreds of grocery bags over the last few weeks which they've been distributing to vulnerable communities in the area. Today's delivery is actually going to Oroville, a small town about 20 minutes outside of Chico. Oroville is a economically depressed area. There are a lot of houseless people down there. There are a lot of people that are in need of help during this. And um, unfortunately, it's also a relatively conservative area. Most of the community outreach that happens happens on Facebook and it's very gated. It's sort of people who know people take care of themselves. And so there are large sectors of the community that are just sort of ignored. The destination today is an old hotel on Bird Street. Orville has several hotels that are essentially housing for people with cognitive disabilities, recovering addicts. They are among the poorest of the poor when it comes to being able to provide themselves and uh, being able to offer them groceries and just basic commodities to keep them from having to go out and risk their life and limb is really helpful to them. Hi, Jenny. Oh, hello. I bring on to you your groceries. Awesome. Jenny hasn't been staying at Bird Street for that long. She's from Reno, but left a few months ago to get away from a severe domestic violence situation. She's also been fostering a baby while she's been here. That was just a taste. To listen to the full episode, please visit theresponsepodcast.org or find The Response wherever you get your podcasts.